Yo, what's up um, to all the Hope City volunteers? That's a quick video on Saturday night. I'm um, looking forward to seeing some of you guys, most of you guys this coming Sunday, so tomorrow. But really quick, I wanted to update you guys um, on a couple things related to COVID. Um, as you guys know, there are a few people in the church. Um, I think right about now there's a handful, maybe seven or eight people uh, who in the last two or three weeks had tested positive for COVID. Good news is they're all recovering or have already recovered. Um, but today, um, in conversation with some of our elders, we wanted to really emphasize the importance of you guys, myself included, um, doing our due diligence to exercise um, good wisdom outside of church. Uh, the conversation is really like, should we postpone services or what should we do if there is an outbreak in Franklin County? Um, but one of the, I guess, the dilemmas is we can't control how people behave outside of church. And obviously we're a social uh, group of people, lots of parties, lots of hangouts, lots of dinner, get togethers, birthdays, celebrations of every sort. Um, and that's great. It's beautiful. But please, I want you guys to just hear my heart in this as ministers of some sort, as volunteers, whether you're a greeter, an usher, security team, you know, you're an outreach team, a musician, a singer. Um, I'm sure I'm forgetting some of the different volunteers, but um, all of us have a role to play. We all have something to contribute without you. It can't happen without everyone being available. Um, it really makes it hard for us to do what we've been called to do. So um, I'm just asking you guys from my heart to you to keep that in mind that um, it's really not worth it as a volunteer, as a minister. Um, you guys have stood up to the challenge and you've been on the front line throughout this pandemic, most of you. And so I can't say thank you enough for that. But please remember that if you catch COVID or if you're in a situation where you feel you may be at risk, it then causes us to kind of shuffle the deck and we are running low with hands and feet um, in terms of volunteers that are available not only because of COVID, but it's holiday, lots of travel, lots of T-Box students are not in Columbus right now. So we're doing our best. We don't want to have to resort to any sort of, um, you know, mini miniature service or Hope City Light, you know, where we have to cancel certain aspects of our worship. But you guys have a vital role to play. So I just want to remind you of that. Um, again, hope to see you guys tomorrow, but it's really not so much Sunday morning that I'm concerned about. It's Monday through Saturday. And again, talking to Pastor Terry, um, Dr. Gordon, Pastor Carl, some of the others. That is really our heart from the leadership level is that everybody would keep in mind the role that you serve or play. Uh, again, whatever role that is, greeter, usher, uh, media team, musician, singer, outreach team, and several other ministries. Um, we really, we need you at full strength and you're important, you know, so please keep that in mind. Uh, we really, really, really need you guys to stay stay focused during this time we're almost through this and believe it or not i think that the tide is going to turn rather soon here but anyway you'll hear more about that tomorrow but just wanted to say that on this saturday night it's been a long week for me um death in my own family many deaths in our congregation not of members per se but family members of our members as well as of course you know one of our young brothers was buried today so I had to do his eulogy. It's been a long week, but we're going to worship tomorrow and God is going to continue to move. If you were there last Sunday, you know that it was powerful and we anticipate nothing less than more of the same because wherever God's people gather, God shows up in the midst. So love you guys. Quick video just to let you know uh, that you're wearing your mask, social distancing, avoiding intimate get togethers with people really helps the church. So even, of course, in addition to your own health, we need you at Hope City during this time to make sure you're not jeopardizing your availability because there's so many people depending on you guys to be there so that we can continue to reach our city with the gospel. So um, again, I love you all. Hope that made sense. Hope you heard my heart in that. And we will see you tomorrow.